Hi students, I am Pavan, your science master. This video is especially for 6th standard students. Students, can you notice an image displayed on the screen now? Yes, what can you observe? You can observe a boy and a girl standing in the water. And what do you observe? You observe the boy is holding a leaf and a frog is there on the water. Something is there and the frog is on the something. And dragonfly is flying and grass there, snail is slowly creeping into the water. You can see there that image. And also the girl face, you can see there, the girl is showing some expressions. And you can see some flowers as well. Actually, you have to understand here, there are different living things live in this particular place. And the boy and girl standing in the water and observing different things living in the water and around the water pond. Students, actually the girl is getting a little surprised. You can see on her face. Yes. Why does she? Because she is at a new living place of other living things. She never used to see the creatures living in the water. Actually, they are different from the creatures living in and around her house. In and around her house. These living things are different from the living things living in and around her house. Yes, students, that is why she kept that expression. That is why she is getting surprised and getting excited. See, in this image, they are at a new place. New place. Actually, that is not our living place or that is not the boy's, girl's living place. Right? If someone asks you that where do you live, what do you say? You say your living place. Usually, I live in Hyderabad. And you say the name of your living place. Isn't it? Yes. And there where you live, only you are living or any other people also living together there? Yes, other people also living together there. Okay. And why are the people living in that particular place? Because they are getting their job, they are getting their food, they are getting their shelter, they are getting their, they are getting their needs fulfilled there. Okay, that is why they are living. They have their, they, they have optimum conditions for survival. That is why they are surviving there. Surviving means they are living there. They are able to live there. Okay, so they are able to live means they are getting all the needs they are getting fulfilled all of their needs there in that particular place that is why they are living in that particular place got it yeah so here also in the pond you can see there they the frog lives in the water and on the land as well and the dragonfly flying in the air you can see and the snail is on the ground actually that is trying to creep or that that's trying to move into water you can see there in the image yes or no yes so every living thing they live at a place where their needs are fulfilled at there where their needs are met okay like that we have to understand <coughs> living things are living in a particular place where their needs are met or their needs are fulfilled this is the point you know there is a technical term in science for this, you know, where the place where we, we get our needs fulfilled, there is a technical term in science. Do you know that? Yes. I will show the name of that. Yes. What is this? You can see here. What is the name displayed on the screen? Habitat. You know, habitat. We are going to learn about habitat of different creatures. Okay, students, the lesson starts with a story, actually. I read and explain. You don't get confused. I read and explain. Then you will get continuity of the chapter. Okay. And in the middle of my explanation, I will give you some examples. Okay. I read and explain. You please follow with your finger, students. Okay, students. This is sixth chapter.
students this is sixth chapter the text starts from here okay i go on reading and i explain <clears throat> wuma was swimming in the village pond with her elder brother she enjoyed swimming there as she saw several things in the pond different from what she could see around her house her brother would show her eggs of all sorts of creatures right below the lotus leaf was the snail's egg was the snail's egg within the leafy bushes at the side of the pond were eggs of fish and so much more there were several organisms vary from very small to quite large ones like the fish that grandpa was rearing human beings would often hold their breath under water for such explorations but we would gasp for breath just after a short time and come to the surface students what do you understand about this paragraph actually this is about the image that i shown just before see wuma was swimming in her village pond actually wuma and her brother they were swimming in water and wuma got surprised you know she enjoyed swimming there as she saw several things in the pond different from you know the the things in the pond you know uh, they are different from the things she usually see in and around her house so that she got surprised got it and her brother would show her eggs of all sorts of creatures her brother would show what all sorts of you know eggs of all sorts of creatures there in the water okay and just right below the lotus leaf was the snails egg as well and within the leafy bushes at the side of the pond were eggs of fish and so much more they could observe there got it there were several organisms very small organisms and very large organisms as well this paragraph is about that students and let's move forward wuma was often wondered how the organisms under water could live there easily while it was so difficult for her to breathe why she got wondered you know students because how the organisms under water could live there easily but she could not live in the water easily that is why she got wonder okay what is the reason other organisms uh, can live there but wuma could not live there in the water because she cannot breathe in the water she cannot what breathe in the water but other organisms they can breathe in the water but we cannot breathe in the water you understand the different students yes let's move forward do all organisms have different needs which are fulfilled by their surroundings yes of course the living things may have different needs which are fulfilled by their surroundings yes i am living in hyderabad because i have different needs and different comforts here in hyderabad that is why i am living here that my needs are fulfilled here in the same way you can take different organisms in the nature okay if you take tiger can tiger live in hyderabad in city no its needs are fulfilled where in the forest so tiger lives in the forest as well obviously what tiger or lion or any other animals that or uh, that they that where they get the needs fulfilled they live in that particular place for example these animals live in the forest for their needs okay to get their needs fulfilled got it yeah let's move forward we see organisms living everywhere around us we see them living on the ground or under the ground in the water or on its surface etc students of course we see organisms living everywhere that we know okay some living things live in the water on the surface under the ground okay so there are different places for different creatures on the earth got it and now let's move forward let us explore all the places where organisms 
like plants and animals live see let's explore this matter yeah let us move forward to get uh, yeah <coughs> students uh, to understand more what you have to do you have to do it as an activity you know uh, like project work uh, what you have to do not visit the pond or lake in the presence of a teacher or parents only students you do not try to go near any pond or lake alone okay on your own you should not go you have to take help of your parents if i am available i will help you otherwise you have to get help of your parents got it yeah and how uma and her brother went to a pond like this okay you have to go and observe and you have to record your observations who lives where it's an activity right you have to record your observations there this activity how here let's move forward here is a list of some organisms and human beings elephant lotus wall spider oyster fish rabbit bee sparrow dung beetle earthworm kuramenu mural kuramenu is the fish ma you don't get confused it's a name of fish squirrel rat crab snail bat pistia water hyacinth monkey prawn royalu in telugu royalu tiger prawn etc you can see students this is you know uh, name you know, name this is a list of uh, names of different creatures here uh, how you know the um, creatures whether they are there uh, at the place you visited or not there if they are there you just make a tick and you just uh, observe that okay this is only for activity observation and you may add the names of even more animals and plants that you see around you or remove those from the given list which are unfamiliar to you students the list is the list of course but but these creatures may live may not live in that particular place okay if any other creatures other than these creatures given in this list just make a note okay all right let's move forward where is each organism found most often yeah there is one table given for you uh, according to the table given let us record our observation students you know uh, table 1 write the names of the organisms in the appropriate box so where is the box let us move forward where is the box yeah here yes table 1 is here okay right of course uh, table 1 is given here uh, before the table 1 there is some matter given mm. let's get little understanding of this matter given just before the table and according to where they can be found uh, you have to list the uh, you have to uh, record your observations okay according to where they can be found right and you would put the name of the organism in more than one column yes if you take one organism that may live in uh, water and on land as well okay uh, that kind of uh, things also given here in this table students yeah if you put the organism in the column some other place try to mention the place where you could find it yeah this is regarding only the table ma you can see this table and after that you know some examples are some examples are filled in to help you here in this table some examples are given there and copy the table one in your notebook try to enrich the list as much as you can how many organisms are present in more than one column why did you place them there see after you fill this table the uh, you know uh, you have to answer for these questions you know how many organisms are present in the present how many organisms are present in more than one column and why did you place them there so after you fill up after you do the activity you have to answer for these questions right and what about this table students table 1 under the ground what are the creatures living under the ground snake earthworm on the ground snake and cat so the, the 
these are just for a example okay and there may be other creatures you, you just enrich or you have to extend the list and in or on water snake lotus some other places like you know sparrow sparrow lives where in our homes only no sometimes we see in our ventilators they build a nest in the ventilators and waking up early in the morning you know making some chirping sounds in our houses right yeah let's move forward in which column will you put a frog yeah there you may get confused students you can see the frog living in water and on ground as well right yeah you have to put it in where other places you have to put it where other places now let us uh, get understanding of this matter we have seen that different organisms live in different places but many of them live in the same place yes some of the living things you know live in the same place i said before like you know wild animals live only in the forest okay many of them live in the same place of course tiger lives in the forest lion lives in the forest fox lives in the forest okay different creatures these are the different creatures are living in the same place yes living organisms have different needs they usually stay in the place where most of their needs are met that is they get sufficient food shelter and other conditions necessary for life students this is the reason why the creatures live in that particular place got it what is the reason why because they get what most of their needs are met where they most of their needs are met the living things live there yeah that i already told you uh, early beginning of this chapter what is the technical term for this that's habitat yes students all organisms depend yeah let's move forward all organisms depend on their surroundings for their needs like food water air and shelter the organism which meets the needs of a particular organism in the best manner is the habitat of the particular organism habitat of the organism yeah what are the examples given let us see but let's get understanding of this matter all organisms depend on their surrounding yes of course we are all depending on the surroundings only no okay for their needs like food water air and shelter the surrounding which meets the needs of particular organism that is called habitat got it yeah what are the examples given here let us move forward and get proper understanding for example you see here pond is the habitat of royal or the freshwater prawn fish lives in ponds so it is a habitat for fish as well yeah where do fish live fish live in water can you say what is the habitat for a crow a crow makes its nest on the tree so tree is a habitat for the crow yes or no is there any doubt here no doubt next we have to find some insects on the skin of buffalo so buffalo skin is the habitat for the insect there is no confusion here yes of course buffalo skin is also a habitat for different insects living on the skin of buffalo next with such a lot of different types of organisms it's difficult to find areas with just one type of plant or animal yes students here there are different types of organisms no so we can divide the living place according to the place where they are living okay it is difficult otherwise right so let us divide the living place in a broader uh, sense like you know if they are living in water the water is a big living place for a large number of organisms and even land is also like that and even air 
like that you know it's let's move forward it is also difficult to study the needs of each organism separately yes it is also difficult to study the needs of each organism so usually we study them collectively according to the habitat yes usually we study about them how collectively according to the habitat they are living now let's see what are the different habitats around us students uh, i wanted to stop till here and what we have learnt uh, in the next class we will be studying about different types of habitats okay till here what have you got you have to make a list of different organisms and their living places and uh, you know students as of now what you have understood you have to make list of the organisms and you have to mention the living place of those organisms have you got students so in the next video we will study the names of different habitats and the types of different habitats students okay this is for this video students thank you for listening and thank you very much